the other part of my talk was really focused on how clinicians have to deal with something called neuroendocrine prostate cancer or neuroendocrine small cell prostate cancer, as some people call it, uh, in the clinic. And I think the focus of my talk is that these are really two separate entities. Small cell prostate cancer is essentially um, defined very clearly under the microscope as, as small cell lung cancer would be. It's about 2% of prostate cancer patients. It has a very rapid and aggressive course and re likely requires a platinum-based regimen. I think some of the messaging from uh, hasn't been clear on, on what neuroendocrine prostate cancer is, and it leads to clinicians to stain for things like synaptophysin or chromogranin A and defining any findings as small cell equivalent and abandoning standard of care uh, in prostate cancer for a small cell regimen. But I think the point I wanted to make in that presentation was when we're talking about neuroendocrine prostate cancer, for the most part, we're talking about adenocarcinoma with neuroendocrine features, which is really primarily adenocarcinoma. And I think that clinicians really should strongly consider using standard therapies and monitoring for progression as they would in other patients, um, despite those findings. And that's because neuroendocrine staining can be seen in all stages of prostate cancer, including newly diagnosed patients, as well as late stage disease. And the, the neuroendocrine staining that's being used to define neuroendocrine prostate cancer oftentimes leads to, like I said, abandoning standards of care in prostate cancer. But what the unknown um, component here is when in the lineage transformation of prostate cancer um, from a uh, androgen receptor therapeutic responsive phenotype to a perhaps AR null phenotype, when we should abandon therapies and, and get more aggressive. And this really comes from the fact that I've seen several referrals from the community where patients were identified as being neuroendocrine and, and treated with a small cell regimen right off the bat, having never seen a prostate regimen. And in truth, when we evaluated them, they actually were just adenocarcinoma with neuroendocrine features and ultimately did have responses. So I think it is clear that, you know, we need to figure out how to treat um, small cell prostate cancer better, um, but that's a distinct entity than perhaps adenocarcinoma that has neuroendocrine features.